You may have seen them on your morning commute like Tony here in his car. There you go, Tony. Hey, what's up? Catchy traffic signs aimed at getting your attention with a little humor, like this one that says, wearing your seatbelt is so fetch. Um, we see you Mean Girls fans. But federal officials want to put the brakes on these signs. They've issued new guidelines saying safety on the roads is a serious matter. Chris Van Cleve explains. From reminding you to use your Blinka in Boston or oh hi whoa, watch your speed in Columbus to a Swifties take on safety in Arizona, states having a little fun to get drivers focused on traffic safety has a habit of going viral. In New Jersey, a seasonally appropriate reminder, reckless drivers are worse than fruitcake. Any sign that gets the public to be more aware of uh, distracted driving, safe driving, obviously we're gonna be in favor of. But all kidding aside, it's a feeling apparently not shared by regulators in Washington. No joke, new guidelines from the Federal Highway Safety Administration say states should avoid the use of humor and pop culture references because it may confuse or distract drivers. While not an outright ban on fun, they'd prefer messages like unbuckled seatbelts, fine plus points. A guideline going over worse than pairing peas and guac in Arizona. Yeah, I thought it was a joke at first. State Rep David Cook chairs the Transportation Committee. Those friendly, humorous reminders, I believe, have a very positive impact overall on, on the millions of people we have on the roads every day. Arizona's Department of Transportation has been using humor on its 300-plus message boards since 2015 and holds an annual contest to submit fun safety messages. Last year, there were some 3,700 entries. In Wisconsin, John Riemann spent several years coming up with memorable traffic safety messages. I find it unfortunate. I think that there is a great opportunity to message to the public and, you know, to put out safety messages, to try to tie in pop culture or tie in things that are happening in your community. Studies are mixed on how effective the humorous signs are. One found they command more attention from drivers. Another found a significant portion may not get the joke, but people do seem to like them. You've got people reading it anyway, so what's it hurt to have a little sense of humor about it? It gets your attention, makes you think about it, rather than just stating the obvious. The new guidelines take effect in 2026, a debate over safety being written in lights. For CBS Mornings, I'm Chris Van Cleve in Phoenix. I think they should accompany it with music. I mean, come on. I'm in favor of the funny signs, for real. I mean, if those are distracting the people, then what about regular old billboards? Nah, I feel you, you on that. ban all of it? That's a valid point. No radios and cars.